At this meeting in Cairo, I will be talking about the emerging role of radioembolization for hepatocellular carcinoma. And this has been something that we have been working on for at least a decade now. And the idea with every new treatment is to identify what patient population might benefit. And after about, like I said, a decade, 15 years of work, we've realized that Y90 radioembolization can be applied at multiple stages of hepatocellular carcinoma. In patients with early disease, you can think about curative application in small lesions that potentially are not resectable or ablatable, and we have survivals of seven years median. In intermediate disease, in patients where we might consider chemoembolization or something else, uh, we have median survival of 25 months uh, treated with radioembolization, and this is, to me, quite competitive to other standards of ther care therapy. And very exciting is in the patients with advanced disease, portal vein thrombosis. We have median survivals ranging from 14 to 16 months, depending on the patient population. And the better you select your patient, the better the outcome. And in fact, the group from Milan uh, has published 32 months median survival in patients with portal vein thrombosis, if properly selected. So what we think is radioembolization can be applied in multiple uh, settings. Very exciting in terms of new treatments now and new paradigms is to think about accelerating the process of Y90, minimizing the need of uh, multiple treatments for patients and multiple procedures. So one of the advancements for us has been the same day radioembolization where you can do the entire process, the mapping angiogram, the embolization and the treatment in one day. And in fact, we've even gone to, uh, to, to uh, discussing the one hour Y90, where patients come in, we treat them with a Y90, do not perform any angiogram, do not perform any embolization or any lung shunt study, because if you have very small tumors, that test is not necessary. So we've gone from a procedure that was very complex a decade ago to something that can be streamlined to an hour or less in properly selected patients. I would say that in terms of research and excitement, the most exciting stuff is to think about combining Y90 with systemic therapies. There are now many systemic agents available, uh, lenvatinib and cabozantinib and regorafenib and uh, all types of other agents. But interestingly, the immunotherapies are also very interesting. I think combining Y90 with nivolumab or Pembro or Durva or all these other things are things that we need to look at because the idea is advanced patients may benefit from multiple types of treatment. And I think combining Y90 with the immunotherapies is something that's very exciting. So overall, I think a lot of excitement. Uh, I'm uh, happy to be here in Cairo to discuss this with uh, my colleagues at uh, IGILUC and, uh, and uh, hope I, g I get to come back next year.